Hello and welcome to our video solution to problem 7 from Super Quiz 3. In this problem, we're asked to prove that the Gaussian integer negative 5 plus 8i is a prime integer in z adjoint i, the Gaussian integers. So we're going to start by assuming that you have some factorization of negative 5 plus 8i. So let's assume we have some factorization, so we'll maybe a little z and a little w are going to be in zi, such that negative 5 plus 8i is z times w. All right. Now, uh, that doesn't rule out negative 5 plus 8i being a prime. Uh, if we can show that this implies that either z or w is a unit, then we'll actually conclude that negative 5 plus 8i is prime. So what we're going to do is take the norm of both sides. So the norm of negative 5 plus 8i, well, that's just going to equal negative 5 squared plus 8 squared. So negative 5 quantity squared plus 8 squared, uh, which is, let's see, that's 64 plus 25 is 89. Hey, now, before we go any further, one very easy observation is that 89 is prime. And that's a really good start if you're trying to show a given Gaussian integer is prime, if you can show that the norm is prime. Why is that? Well, we know that the norm of negative 5 plus 8i is also going to be the norm of z times w. But now we use the important product of norms theorem, says that this norm map is multiplicative, meaning I can break this up as the norm of z times the norm of w. But I've now translated this product formula, which lives inside of zi, right? So this is a, a divisibility relationship in zi. I've turned it into a divisibility relationship in z. So I have 89 equals n of z times n of w, but the norm maps, the, 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 the uh, output of those is, they're all integers, right? In fact, they're even non-negative integers. So this lives inside z. But we know that 89 is prime. And because 89 is prime, that tells you one of these two numbers has to be a 1. So n of z is equal to 1, or n of w is equal to 1. But we proved already that n of z is equal to 1 if and only if z is a unit. So this allows us to translate back and forth through the Gaussian integer world and the integer world, where we can use the fact that we have a prime there to conclude something about some prime numbers, which we or uh, numbers which might be 1, and of course one, it's like 1 and 89, right? That's the only option, or 89 and 1. But that's going to allow us to then translate back via this result to get that whichever one was equal to 1, that actually the original Gaussian integer is a unit. How sweet is that? So we conclude, if you have a factorization of negative 5 plus 8i, one of the two factors must be a unit. So every factorization of negative 5 plus 8i as a product of two Gaussian integers must contain a unit as a factor. But that's precisely what it's going to mean to be prime in the Gaussian integers, i.e. negative 5 plus 8i is prime.